Hey guys, here we are, taking a quick spin on BMW's G310GS with this new Bell SRT modular helmet. So this is Bell's latest helmet designed for you guys and girls who want to be able to go between full face protection and uh, open face so you can enjoy the breeze with your friends and, and, uh, and stuff. So let's hop on the bike here and give it a quick review. So the SRT Modular is the latest from Bell Helmets, American company uh, with Chinese produced helmets. This helmet runs parallel with its revolver, so the revolver helmet's gonna continue, but it's gonna be at a more fav favorable price point. The helmet's a little bit old now, uh, a little long in the tooth, but Bell wants to continue to offer it for you value conscious modular helmet riders out here. But this SRT modular, it's still a pretty good value at $349. That's what it's gonna cost in solid colors. Comes out June 1st. We're also riding with uh, the new Bell Pro Tint face shield. And this is a, a auto tint face shield that automatically darkens based on the uh, UV uh, outside. So whether it's sunny outside or cloudy, there's going to be UV in the atmosphere and that's going to allow the, this, the windscreen to automatically tint and allow you to see better when it's bright and sunny out like it is right now. Fun fact, uh, when, you, when you have the helmet inside and put it outside, stepping into the sun, it takes about 20 seconds, 20 seconds for the helmet to go and provide 80% of its max tint. So in 20 seconds, you already got some, some serious uh, uh, tint going on. And uh, another benefit too is when, when it gets dark outside and the sun goes down, it, it quickly reverts back, back into clear mode. So uh, a nice, nice feature on that shield, it also has class one optics. So that's the same basically rating as a pair of industrial safety glasses. So you have some eye protection from rocks and debris on the road. And this face shield is available in Bell's Panavision, so it's compatible with the with the Star and the Ray Star and all of new Bell's helmets with the Panavision, uh, with the extreme uh, peripheral vision on either side. This visor will be $150, and it should be coming out here June 1. There is no pin lock option right now for pan for a uh, Pro Tint, but Bell says they're working on on something special that will go head to head with Pro with a uh, pin lock. They are proud to, to tout off though that that their their face shields, whether it's a clear face shield or this Pro Tint, it has a special fog coating, which they claim is is really top notch. And to be fair, we rode in the morning when you know it was a little bit humid out, it was sprinkling a little bit, and we didn't have any fogging concerns despite not having pin locks. So definitely neat. Now let's jump into the SRT modular helmet. This helmet is it shares a new head form, which is basically the same head form as the Star MIPS helmet. So the fit of a Star MIPS is going to be virtually identical to this SRT modular helmet. Right now I'm wearing a size small, and typically I wear a medium in the Star MIPS, medium with, with thicker cheek pads, and I should have ran that setup today. This size small, while it, it seems like it fits me real well when I put it on, you know, after 20, 30 minutes, it, it really kind of compresses my head a little bit. Uh, I should have upsized. The only problem with medium is when I slipped my head on it, it was a little bit too big. So we're gonna try medium here and fit some thicker cheek pads and a thicker crown top liner and see how this work, how that works. But the interior of the helmet is much more plush than, than I've seen from Bell in a while. The interior is very plush. Uh, it's a three-piece interior, so you can remove the, the top liner, you can remove the cheek pads, you can replace them with thicker thinner, or thinner options, and you can toss them in the wash machine uh, to help keep them fresh in between rides. The chin straps on either side, however, are sewn into the helmet, so you can't remove them. Uh, that would have been a nice touch by Bell if they would have had those things be removable. I really enjoy 
you know when you're riding in the summer months you know it doesn't take long for you to stink up your helmet with with a uh, body odor and sweat from riding all day so i really like to come home and remove the full interior and, and throw it in the wash machine and uh just have that clean and fresh helmet smell and feel when i ride next so it would have been nice if they did that but that's not a big deal ventilation wise this helmet has two shin vents here controlled by one switch we have the switch closed right now so we can get some good clean audio and then one larger vent here at the top of the head also has a switch pretty easy to use with your with your uh, gloves there's also two rear exhaust vents that are fixed they're always open looking inside the helmet you can see the vents they're, they're pretty big and they flow a good amount of air uh, but to be fair it's relatively mild today i think it's only probably 70 degrees 69 degrees right now um, but still you can feel some ventilation some some air flow moving through the helmet which i like We've got a, a chin curtain standard on this helmet which is nice it kind of keeps the the turbulence down inside the helmet it also protects protects uh you from wind coming up inside the in the helmet i i, I like chin chin curtains i always run them this one's a little bit small, but it still do the job just fine. There's also a nice removable rubber nose guard. Uh, with this size small helmet, it's touching on my nose just a little bit. I think the medium will give me a little bit more space. Speaking of sizing, uh, with this SRT modular, Bell is offering it in two distinct shell sizes. So size small, I'm sorry, size extra small, small, medium, and large share a shell size. Size extra large, double XL, triple XL, have a different larger shell size. Now inside the shell, there's three distinct EPS uh, profiles. Extra small and small share an EPS liner. So I have extra small, small right now. Medium and large share an EPS liner. And and uh, extra large, double XL, triple XL, they have their own EPS liner. And generally, the more shell sizes and the more EPS liner options, the better, because it allows the helmet manufacturer to really tweak the way that helmet fits on, on the rider's head. So you can have a, a real distinct uh, custom, almost custom fit, regardless of your, of your head size. Now this SRT modular helmet also features, what we talked about a little bit, the ProTent, the Panavision face shield system. Uh, now the Panavision face shield system is really cool because it really extends uh, on the left and right side of the face shield. It gives you really good peripheral vision when you're riding on the road or even on the track. You know, vision's everything. You really need to be able to see what's in front of you. You know, what's darting out in the road ahead. Is there an animal running out? Is there a tennis ball flying out on the road? Is some kid running out? You really need to be able to see everything. And this, this helmet has, this visor has really good peripheral vision. It almost feels like you're watching a, a, a movie in 4K, just how wide and how immersive the, the, the viewing port is, which I really like. We've also got a drop down face shield so if we want to lift the lid up and, and have a have our head in the breeze we still have some eye protection with that tinted drop down visor i'm not going to lift it up right now and expose it because it would it would uh, compromise our audio but it i did ride a little bit with it in the morning in the up position and i, I love modular helmets i love being able to go you know, ride around town and flip up my helmet and talk to people at a store, grab a coffee, drink it without having to take off my helmet. You know, use my phone, talk on speakerphone, all without having to remove my helmet. I, I just love modular helmets. They really give the best of both worlds. So when you want that full face protection, you have it. And when you want that, that around town convenience, you got that too. Of course, Bell's got a five year warranty on this helmet. So if you have any problems, you can always get it fixed with them. But I'm pretty pleased with this with this Bell helmet. You know, I'm really anxious to try size medium with a larger pad. I think that's going to give me a little bit more optimum fit. I can tell the crown of my head doesn't quite fit 
within that DPS liner. It's not sitting inside of it. It's kind of pushed up against it a little bit. And I think once it sits inside like that, that'll really alleviate a lot of the pressure. Of course, if you guys are interested in this helmet, be really appreciate it if you could follow the links in this video description. Your order will be fulfilled by Revzilla or Rocky Mount ATVMC or, or uh, Amazon. So, you know, the shipping will be quick. You know, you'll get a good product at a fair price. And a very, very small percentage of that purchase will help fund this YouTube channel. Allow me to create, create, keep making nice videos for you guys to watch. Not everyone gets to try the latest and greatest gear and bikes. So that's where I come in to help you guys, help guide you to tell you what works and what doesn't. At the end of the day, would I buy this SRT modular helmet? I, I think this helmet offers a really good value in the class, but I would spring for something a little bit more high end. For me, com comfort and fit and finish is absolutely paramount, and I don't mind spending a little bit more to get it. So I get this helmet, I'd get something a little bit more premium, but if you were a value conscious, uh, modular helmet uh, wearer and just want a new helmet that has a good selection of features and works pretty good and has that cool bell star racy shape I think this SRT modular would be a good option for you it it's a really good looking helmet it looks very very sporty Well, that's all from the SRT Modular helmet review from, from Bell. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you like these videos or if you don't like them. And It's always good to hear from you guys. And We'll probably do an ancillary review of this helmet later on as we you know, get our right size and, and log some more seat time. And uh, put it on the scale, see how much it weighs. Maybe do a sound test, see how much wind noise is inside. Speaking of wind noise, I forgot a key point. Uh, the visor here uh, has a nice ceiling system, a real nice ceiling system all across the visor to help keep that wind noise down. Modular helmets always get a bad rap for being a little bit noisy. And this helmet's actually pretty quiet. Uh, there is some whistling and some wind noise I detect even with earplugs, even while I'm wearing earplugs. But I wouldn't say it's bad. It's actually a pretty quiet modular helmet, which I like. Another thing I forgot to touch on too is when you're lifting the helmet up here like this, there's a nice deep here, which keeps the, the visor and the top of the lead connected. So on other brands of helmets, when you're riding, sometimes you lift it, things can get loose. This, this top part will come down, the visor will come detached, and it just gets annoying. So it's cool that Bell actually engineered a lever to, to keep those things together. A very nice touch. Well, thanks for watching, guys. We're about to hop on the freeway here, and it's going to get real boring, so I'm not going to make you guys watch that. But thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and if you are interested in purchasing one of these helmets, I'd be really pumped if you could do it through this channel. See you guys next time.